Hello, in this video I'm going to show the home screen tricks on Huawei Mate Pad 11.5 Paper Mat. Okay, so to access and to change the home screen settings, let's open up the settings first. Uh, and now we need to find the home screen and style. Uh, in here, of course, we can change the themes, wallpapers and the icons. Let's begin with the themes. In here we have a list of uh, themes that are currently installed on our device. If you want to find more of them, simply click on more. Then you will have a, a whole list. Some uh, themes require, require payment and uh, because uh, not all of them are for free, but you will see it when you click on more. And now when we click on wallpapers, uh, same thing uh, in here, we can click on allow. Uh, in here we have a list of wallpapers that are currently installed. Same thing as you click on uh, as it was in the themes, as you click on more wallpapers, you have a whole list and just like in the previous uh, thing, some wallpapers require payment. Uh, but uh, when it comes to the wallpapers, you can also select uh, a photo from your gallery, for example, and set it as a new wallpaper. Simply click on select from gallery and then you can pick the photo that you want. Okay, as we go to the icons, uh, we can change their shape uh, and their color. In here we have a whole list mm, that are currently installed. Uh, let's say that we want to pick uh, that one. In here we have a preview how it will look like. Hit on apply. Mm. And now it has been uh, set. Uh, I'll open up the home screen to show that everything has been changed. And now we have this style of our icons. Okay, uh, I'll go back into the uh, standard one. Uh, I was just showing you that you can change it. And of course, again, we have the more button. When you click on that, you will see more icons that you can download or buy. Uh, okay, below we have the online content. Mm, thanks to that, we can discover more themes and wallpapers. Uh, below we have the home screen settings. In here, we can change the layout. Uh, currently, it's 7 on 5 and also we can uh, set 6 on 5. It's up to you which layout you want. Uh, we can also lock uh, our layout. Uh, and now, for example, we won't be able to change the position of the icons, for example, on our home screen because of the uh, lock. So let's say we want to uh, change the position of the cloud app mm, from this place to that place. Uh, when I hold on that, you can see that uh, on the bottom, uh, you can see that it's saying the home screen uh, layout is locked mm, and we cannot do anything with that icon. It's simply stuck into that place. Okay, uh, for now I will mm, turn it off. We also have the auto line uh, and it will automatically fill empty spaces when apps are removed. Uh, just to show you how it works, uh, I'm wondering do I have some app? Yeah, I have the asphalt game. Uh, and now uh, when we uninstall the game, it should... Oh, actually, let's do it uh, in other way. Let's change the place of our icon so we will make sure that this feature will work properly now I will uninstall it and you could see that uh, the other icons uh, came the games in this case the folder uh, jumped into the place of the asphalt because it was removed uh, and that's how this uh, auto align mode works it fits the empty place between the icons okay uh, if you want, of course, you can keep it enabled. Uh, we have the auto rotate, so it automatically rotates the home screen. I'm sure that you know how it works. We can also enable to show the recent apps. Apps you have recently used will be shown on the right side of the dock. It's right in here. Okay, next thing is uh, to show widget bars. Show a bar underneath app icons that can be explained into service widgets. Uh, and uh, we have the assistant, receive smart reminders, personal news and other content relevant to you. Pretty cool thing. Mm, it's also worth uh, keeping it enabled. Now, as we perform mm, that kind of a move, uh, let's say that, uh, I don't know how to describe it. Uh, you just need to see, just like that. And uh, when you perform that icon, another menu appears. And in here, for example, we can change uh, the and drag the screens to change their order. Uh, so currently, for example, this screen is the second uh, and we can uh, place it 
uh, to the left side and change their order. So go to the left side, now release, uh, and now mm, as we uh, turn off uh, this menu, you can see that uh, these screens has been replaced when it comes to the, uh, their order. Pretty simple. Back into the menu, mm, in here also we can change the wallpaper, just like I was saying. And now we can also add the widgets. Click on the service widgets and in here we have a whole list uh, of the widgets that we can add. Uh, in here we have the supported apps of which we cannot, uh, of which we can, uh, I'm sorry, of which we can uh, create a widget. For example, when it comes to, to calendar, we have uh, 12 possible widgets that we can create. Simply click uh, and in here we can, as we scroll to the upside, we can change uh, their style. If you want to add, uh, select the uh, style that you want and then click on add to home screen. And as you can see, it appeared uh, right in here. Also, if you hold on it with your hand, you can uh, place it anywhere you want on the screen. Just make sure that you have some free uh, space on your home screen if you want to edit. Uh, and of course, same thing is with other uh, other apps. So for example, let's add the, I don't know from what, the screen lock maybe, and it appeared right now on the home screen. And when I'll click on that, boom, the screen locks. Pretty simple. So that's how you can customize your home screen with the widgets. They are really, really useful. So I think that you will find uh, something for uh, yourself. We can also change the transition uh, animation. Uh, currently we have the default mode. This is how it looks like. Uh, but we can change, for example, into the perspective. Mm. Oh, actually in here uh, uh, we cannot see it. Uh, so I'll close the home screen uh, menu. Uh, and now you can see uh, the difference um, in the animation. So now you can see that it's more smooth. Uh, that's the uh, second, the perspective. Now let's select the squeeze. In here, uh, again, you have like a preview, how it looks like. Now let's say, uh, let's see, is it is is it been applied? And as you can see, it works. And it has been successfully set. Just like that. Mm -hmm. uh, back into the menu. Now the transition and the last one is box. And that's how it looks like. Okay. Uh, and uh, from here you can also uh, get into the home screen. Uh, I was showing you that menu before. All right, that's all in this video. Thank you all for watching. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like, comment and subscribe.